Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are somewhere really really exciting here in Tokyo. We are in Akihabara in Japan and it is incredibly crazy how many Poke Stops there is today. Also since we're one day ahead of you know back in the states it is go fest global day one so right now it's 10:09, so it just started um, we have the dawn meadow habitat going on right now we have some ferris seeds here on the side i caught my first shiny which was a shiny hoot hoot up here as you guys can see i got my first shiny we also have unknown hour at the top of every hour my auto catcher caught a few because i wasn't paying attention that it was already 10 o'clock i honestly thought it was going to be 11 and that's when it was going to start but it was actually 10 so we're going to go out we're going to go raid because the raids here are crazy as you guys can see they're filling up like crazy everyone is here raiding we have that espion and that umbreon that we can get with a scarf in raids only in new york we were able to get it in person in the wild but now we can only get them in raids so i might raid for a few of those everything's lured up we are ready let's check these pharisees maybe we can get a shiny out of one of these shiny no not a shiny and then last one over here by the grunt nope not a shiny i'm going to go ahead and get ready go out and raid and i'm going to show you guys all around japan today in my location and i can't wait for you guys to see this is literally like anime central we have so many shops we have a lot of people walking around playing pokemon go and it's just it's gonna be a great day so let's go ahead and go out raid and find those shinies so we just finished our first raid of go fest day one which is a buzz wool let's go ahead and check we have those um bonuses that we got for our global challenge which were the beast ball so now it makes it even easier to catch these ultra beasts so let's see shiny nope not a shiny and we have 24 32 so i'm just going to give it a golden ras makes it super easy to catch them now one two three so that we can raid even faster than before because we don't have to struggle on those throws so let's appraise it Ooh, three star not bad so let's go ahead and go but before we do i wanted to show you guys what my auto catcher caught for us we got a shiny pikachu with the sun crown which is one i didn't get to get at new york so i'm really excited that my auto catcher is playing a big role in catching as many um, pokemon as i can i'm gonna continue walking over and trying to see some shops as well so let's go ahead and raid some more we are currently walking through this little alleyway I'm trying to go to the area where I originally came from. I'm a little lost, but it's okay. We have a Necrozma raid right here that I'm going to join. I still haven't gotten any Ultra Beast today, but I'm feeling lucky. We're in a new location, a new place, and I'm feeling very, very lucky. It's only day one, and we've only been out here for like 43 minutes. So, All right, we just finished our Necrozma raid. Let's go ahead and see if we have a Shiny. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, not a shiny, and it's 2056. The hundo is 2104. So it's not the hundo. It's actually not that great if I really think about it. Let's catch. Ooh. It's okay. We have those beast balls, so that's going to help us a lot today. I'm going to go ahead and walk down this little alleyway, and then hopefully we can go to a few shops as well. Um, I did want to come back. There is a cat cafe a cat cafe oh and it has background Ooh, my bad there we go there is a cat cafe that i'm going to go back to when i'm ready to have some more coffee but i'm so excited i also really want some sunny angels i know they're always sold out here but i really really want to look for some sunny angels as well there's a few things on my shopping list that i need as well so i'm going to look for that but let's go ahead and find the next raid oh let me just show you how before i go before before we go to the next one i just want to show you guys Look at how, like I cannot believe I'm in Tokyo. I cannot believe I'm in Japan. I'm walking through the alleyways of Japan and I'm just enjoying my life. Like, look at that. We're having a great time. We're having a great time here. Before I forget, we also have these researches for the habitats, which is power up a flying Pokemon five times. It's pretty easy, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Just random hop it, power up. One, two, three, four, five. Power it up. And then let's get those two encounters, which I believe are um, 
which I believe are ducklet. First one. Nope, not a shiny. Let's stack that one. And then our second one is probably also a ducklet. Yes, and not a shiny. So our encounters for today are going to be that ducklet. And I still need another shiny of those. Let's take a let's also take a look at page two of our GoFest 2024 research. We need five berries to help catch Pokemon. I don't know what the other two were, to be honest. I just kind of redeemed them. I really haven't been focusing much on those in, on those researches. I've been more focused on raiding today just because we have those beast balls. But let's go ahead and see what we have for our encounter for page two. A ducklet and 344. We're going to have to catch this one since it is a encounter. So one, two, three and i believe that is not good 344 is kind of low i think we, we're looking for something in the 360s and let's see we need to catch another pokemon using a berry let's go ahead and just catch this random um snivy let me just use a random ras use a pokeball the weather today is way better than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was a lot more rainy. Today it's a little more, it's a little more hot. Not as hot as it was in New York, but definitely hot. <laughs> um, but it's okay. I'd rather it be hot than it be New York weather that we had. Let's get those incubators. Let's get that XP, that Stardust. And then we are off to page three of our research, which is hatch two eggs been 10 pokey stops and then earn two candies walking with your buddy which should be pretty easy for today we're going to continue walking we have a few we have a lot of lures on those pokey stops over there which is it's crazy to see this in person i always watch videos where people are in new york not new york in japan and it just looks so crazy seeing all those pokey stops lured up so it's crazy to see that in person but we have one two three four raids out there i'm gonna go ahead and cross the intersection and then we will try and get those raids also jangmo o is debuting it's shiny as well so i'm going to raid for that as well because i really 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 want that shiny because it is pink so we're gonna head over there and i'll catch you in a little bit so i guess i was wrong because i did find espion in the wild through an incense so i guess you can get them in the wild which I was wrong about but we are in the second habitat which is the shining day habitat during this habitat i kind of want to get another shiny tyron just because i only have two i want another few just so i can have them for trade base but i wanted to show you guys this adorable little oh hopefully it can hear me i wanted to show you guys this where is it is it this one no it is this one no I wanted to show you guys the cutest Pokestop I have ever seen in my entire life. Look at how cute. I have to spin this one to get the gifts. I can send it to my friends, but I love it. Look at that cute little Chansey. I love it. I We are 18 minutes into this habitat and I still haven't gotten a shiny, so hopefully I'm going to walk around. My auto catcher has been doing all the shiny work. I've been raiding like crazy, so let's go ahead and go over to the top of my screen where we have those Formosa and Necrozma raids and trying to get another shiny. Speaking of Espeon, we also have an Espeon right there, a shiny. No, not a shiny. So let's go ahead and walk around. I did also want to go stop by the shop. So I think I'm going to turn right over here and walk down towards over there. And then we can um, go through some of the shops. I wanted to look for some Pokemon cards as well. At the beginning of this video, you guys probably saw that I uh, went to one of the little vending machines. I'll be honest, I got nothing good, but let's go. Oh, let's try one more time. Let's, all right, let's try. Let's see. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, come on, come on, much luck. Come on, much luck. Ah, I'm feeling confident about this one. Come on, much luck. Oh no, I think I'm not gonna get it. Oh no! All right, no Munchlax. All right, I got some more coins here. I think I'm gonna test my luck with the Tatsugiris over here. We can get Gengar, Fanfi, Belly Bolt, or any of the Tatsugiris. So I think I'm gonna go for that. Or we can even go for these. These are super cute as well. 
but I stumbled upon this little arcade where it has a lot of the claw machines and a lot of the um, gotcha. So I think I'm gonna try and get. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these cute little, um, the cute ones. I kind of want Fido. Let's see if we can get him. All right. All right, we have those. Let's go ahead and we'll put in three. My first gotcha. a little bit. Ooh, I think I know who this is. Yep, Esper. Oh. Pretty sure that's Esper. Cute. Got some magic carp over here. All right, guys. So at the end of Go Fest Day One for Global, I ended up going to the Cat Cafe, like I said earlier. And let me tell you, this experience was just amazing. Like these cats are just so adorable. And I'm not even a cat person. Like if you were to tell me to choose between cats and dogs, it would definitely be dogs. But just look at this. These cats were just so smart. Like he, look at him. He pulled my hand. He literally pulled my hand for me to feed him. Like that is just incredible. I had the best experience here. It was hot outside, so I needed somewhere to stay inside and this place allowed me to feed my cats well they weren't my cats but feed the cats and you got unlimited drinks I was able to go to this little vending machine and get as many drinks as I wanted and I could refill it I could get different types of drinks it was just such an amazing experience especially because it was so hot outside but I just look at them they're just so cute here enjoy the cats for a little bit So after the cats, I honestly forgot to record more even when I went back to the hotel. I wasn't even caring about the hotel. I just cared about these cats. And look at this one. This one was like fat and sleepy and just wouldn't wake up for like no food. And then this one was cute too. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Look at the cute cat. Meow.